so when the summer is over and after first two rains when the weather is quite cold moist and damp we see these everywhere around us they are on wall ground they are everywhere to koi se fungus kehta hai koi kehta hai ki algae but it exactly hai kya let's find out Mosses are one of the oldest plants that are found on the earth. Scientists believe that they evolved from the algae and they have been on this dry land since almost 298 million years. So they are pretty old, yes. So they belong to the group of plants called bryophytes, which also includes liverworts and hornworts. in the earlier video of the series where i talked about the types of plants uh, i mentioned that mosses they are non vascular and flowerless so now let's see that what exactly the term non vascular mean the non vascular plants are the ones who uh, do not have this necessary tissues or vessels that uh, help the plant to transport food or necessary nutrients from one part to the other part mosses have got rhizoids now this rhizoids they uh, help the moss to hold the grip on whatever surface they are attached to ab ye trees ho sakte hai ye uh, koi floor ho sakta hai ya koi walls ho sakti hai so to remain uh, stuck or uh, to remain attached to that particular uh, surface mosses have got rhizoids and they maintain the grip uh, for the mosses but this rhizoids they uh, do not do the work of roots what roots do for plants is they extract the nutrients from the soil uh, be it nutrients or water but rhizoid they don't do that so in order to get the nutrients and other necessary ingredients to prepare their food mosses they have to rely completely on their leaves which are very small they might seem pretty small but these are the toughest guys that you can find in the wild because they can survive almost any weather and they have been living on earth since many many years as i had mentioned earlier in the video and that is the reason uh, why you can find moss almost anywhere in the world except for the salt water environments where it is difficult for them to survive in india there are around 1636 different species of moss and i won't be able to exactly tell you how to distinguish between all the species because that is a study in itself but just having an idea that uh, there are there is so much variety of mosses present is an achievement in itself so the mosses they like flowers and fruits that means there are no seeds present in them but they have got spores and that's what help them to regenerate and multiply in numbers now how exactly this work is something that which will cover in the further videos they like cool and damp uh, environment so when the weather is dry and it's sunny so the mosses they just shrink up but again when the weather gets or the environment gets uh, moist enough the mosses they just come back to life since they are uh, pretty small organisms they their size vary between 0.2 to 10 cm which is uh, even smaller than the regular uh, 15 cm ruler that we use and they are divided into uh, two types uh, which can be very simply explained as the ones that grow upright called as the acrocarpus and the ones that spread on the floor and are called as the lurocarpus why it is very necessary to know and learn about the mosses because they play a very important role uh, in preventing or avoiding the soil erosion and land sliding because they are known to store large amount of carbon in them because the chote squirrels hote ya fir chote rodents hote they use this moss to build their nest because these are soft and very comfortable for them because they act as a very good uh, indicator environment indicator uh for the air pollution because uh, they are mostly dependent on air and the surrounding as they cannot extract nutrients from the soil the 
before we talk about conservation it is necessary for us to understand that what are the threats to mosses so the number one on the list is the habitat loss and degradation due to the deforestation um, and cutting down of various trees uh, the mosses they lose their actual habitat jaise hum sab ne dekha hai ki ye trees pe grow karte hai forest ke floor pe grow karte hai to jab trees cut ho jate hai so there is a decrease in the moisture level and uh, as we had discussed earlier that uh, they require moisture to grow to develop so mosses ka bhi uh, jo population hota hai wo decrease ho jata hai another reason is overgrazing or use of the herbicides and fertilizers bahut baar mosses ko as waste uh, dekha jata hai aur iski wajah se unhe nikal diya jata hai ya uh, fertilizers are used over them so that leads to uh, eventually the death of those plants It was observed that most of the mosses found in the urban or the industrial environments uh, became extinct, as mosses are mostly dependent on air uh, for the food. So, uh, the places with high air pollution leads to the decrease in the population of mosses. Thinking about exactly the conservation of mosses, so there is not exactly a, a detailed plan or some efforts that are being taken to conserve mosses. बट जो भी एफर्ट्स लिए जाते हैं टू प्रोटेक्ट द प्लांट्स टू कंजर्व द एनिमल्स दे इनडायरेक्टली हेल्प इन कंजर्विंग द मॉसेस सो दिस मॉसेस आर वेटी टाइनी बट दे आर वेरी यूजफुल फॉर अस फॉर ऑल द ह्यूमन्स एंड फॉर अर्थ सो वी शुड रिस्पेक्ट द मॉसेस राइट दैट वॉज इट फॉर टूडेज वीडियो वे वी सॉ अ लिटल बिट अबाउट मॉस एंड अंडरस्टर्ड हाउ द लाइफ साइकल ऑफ मॉसेस एंड वॉट आर द थ्रेड्स एंड वॉट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मॉस एंड सम ऑफ द फैक्ट्स ऑफ मॉस so i hope it helped you to get a little bit insight about the moss so if uh, you think that uh, this video gave you some insight about the moss please like the video share it with your friends and also subscribe to the channel and as the big butterfly month is going on so we would be coming up with the different topics and concepts about the butterflies so don't forget to press the bell icon so that every time we post something about the butterflies you won't miss the video Till then, stay home, stay safe, and take care of yourself.